don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. This is Moresti, the home of the family. It's the only safe place for these poor people. It's time we discuss something. My husband started this group not long ago. He was trying to save them from a life of hardship and ridicule. They come from all over the wasteland now to find us and become part of the family. Each of us is required to speak one of the laws when we hold our ceremonies. I say the first law. Feast not on the flesh, consume only the blood. This is our strength. I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon. Like he did for all of us. You don't think he's already messed up? Come on, don't kid yourself. We pulled him out of that shithole town just in time. Like I said, he's in isolation. It's his time to meditate and reflect. It was good talk. Hey there, Kiri. How's it hanging? Hey there. When Vance stands on that balcony and starts mouthing off like some kind of preacher, it makes me want to puke. But if I want to keep this place stocked, I gotta have his permission. So I learned his fifth law. Kill not our kindred. Slay only the enemy. This is our justice. Pretty silly if you ask me. Say it ain't so. <laughs> okay, I guess. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. It's a great way to get back at those assholes out there who think we're losers. If it wasn't for Vance, I'd still be getting the crap beat out of me by those guards in Rivet City. Well, Vance makes each of us remember a rule. And when we all gather in the common area, we have to say it out loud. Kinda weird. So, my law is the fourth one. Seek not the sun's light. Embrace only the shadows. This is our refuge. Ian, what do you want from him? I'd never thought of it that way. I suppose he should get a chance to talk to someone like you. Here's the password to his isolation area. Just please don't mention my name to Vance about this. No, just that Vance said he isn't to be disturbed while he's in meditation. Yes, I know. He told me. Surprised? 
Well, Ian was there when it happened and did nothing to stop it. If you ask yourself why, the answer is obvious. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his rightful home. Well, Vance told me that this place was called Moresti. It was named after some town way across the ocean in a place called Romania. I understand. Goodbye. You new here too? I was wondering if we could speak a moment. Yes, my love. I wonder if the family will really work. Sometimes, with all the troubles we have, it seems impossible to hold it together. Oh, come on now, Vance. You're doing what's best for these people. If it wasn't for you, they'd be living in the waste. Or dead. You always have had a knack for making oh, me feel better. Oh, hey there. Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. It's the last place I ever expected to end up. I mean, look at this place. It's so dark and dingy. What this place needs is a lady's touch. But don't tell Vance I said that. How about just the coolest gang this side of the U.S.? As long as we listen to Vance's rules and listen to his stuff, he lets us do pretty much whatever we want. When we all gather in the common area, Vance gives his speeches, and then we each have, like, a law to say. Mine is, Bear not the child. Welcome only the exile. This is our fate. Kinda cool, huh? Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. Well, that is sweet, but Vance would kick my rather gorgeous ass right out of here if I told you how to find Ian. Sorry. Nope. Like I told you, Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Bye. I've never seen you around here before. I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? Right now I call this place home. The only home that's ever let me stay with my... problems. Well, anyone that Vance takes in because of their special problems can be part of the family. I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. Oh, wait. Vance told me I was supposed to say something special when asked that, from his teachings. Oh, right. The third law is feed not for pleasure, partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. Whew, almost forgot it again. Guess I'll see you around. You give so much of real I'm glad I'm here to the bugs down. Shut up, our hopes, monkeys. Hey there, how's it going? You there, cuties. Okay, I guess. The new guy's taking up most of my time, but I think he'll come around. No one will buy it. He's been through some serious shit. I wouldn't worry like it when you me. talk dirty like that. See you later. <laughs> Please don't take Ian away from us. Hello. You'll come see me again when you need to. You wish to speak to me again? Indeed. 
Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Now, you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Ah, yes, my newest charge. What would you want with him? Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Do to him? Nothing. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. He had a moment of weakness, and it was fatal. No, it would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. Okay. You are free to roam the common area of our home as our guest. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. She's worse than my parents. Why can't everyone just leave me alone and let me make my own decisions? I can't stand this anymore. I don't even know who I am anymore or where I belong. My real family is gone because of me and Vance is all I have now. Of course it matters. The past is what's keeping me up at night. That night is like a bad dream. I can see parts of it, but I don't remember what happened. It was the fucking hunger. 
That thing that's haunted me my entire life. Help? How can you help? There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? No, I'm sorry. I'll never set foot in that place again. Mrs. being home and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. 